So uh, Justin Foley asks, how do you see cubes, CubeSats and other small spacecraft affecting space exploration? I think these things are great, Bill. It's it, the coolest it, thing. What's a CubeSat? It's a CubeSat is a that. small experiment that can be flown by universities. I think high school students have done them as well. 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So oh, wow. it's fantastic. There was a great opportunity yeah. for, so for science community and for education. They fit on a standard launcher ring. They go off at the, from a standard spring-loaded gizmo. And I can't point out the Planetary Society is going to fly two solar sails. Stick with us. There, there are CubeSats that will be deployed in space to see if we can develop technology to fly good to, oh, wow. to other planets without any fuel. Now, uh, Eugene, Yeah, I wanted you to had know more query. about CubeSats. So, so you were like, yeah, but universities can have them. What is it? How do you make it? How much do they cost? They're 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, very small, fit in a lunchbox, mm -hmm. and it's a standard that can be launched from a standard uh, system on board a standard rocket, and so you can launch generally seven at a time. Mm -hmm. Universities make these things. You can buy the circuit boards and software online. Can a person launch it, or you need a rocket? Well, these things still cost a million dollars. They oh, okay. cost a lot of money. But yeah. you get a grant. I mean, oh, okay. it's a program. You can apply for a grant to NASA. And then... And if your grant is accepted and you have funding wow. to do it, then you build your project, fly it in space, and well, it's, it's great. It's, it's a exciting. great way to... It's a it's a in, yeah. relatively inexpensive way to explore, to, space. Uh, to explore space. To put it this way, if your grant's accepted... 